I'll never forget when I was like, uh, probably like eight, nine years old. Like during the summer times, I never had the parents that let us kind of do what we wanted to. School was out, we were still going to work. And one of the things my dad did to just kind of keep the creative juices flowing, me and my siblings, is he do this thing where he'd call it, he'd uh, give us a topic of a short story. And it would always be something completely random. Like he'd say, uh, talk to me about polka dot rabbits going over the hill. And we had to develop like a three page short story about random topics. And that really kind of, for me, just started generating the creative juices flowing. Just taught me that I could take anything, take any words, take any topic put them together and develop them into something. And I always like to in my stories um, kind of have a meaning behind it at the end of the day. And so from that just came that natural ability to start to write. And since I already had a love of music, I just started meshing them together and going from there. I started building my own songs, turning those short stories into songs, turning the poems into songs. Um, but definitely that's what started my love for writing, just the poetry, short stories, stuff like that. Taking that and meshing it with the music. Man, the vibe I got when I heard this beat was really that, you know, the old soul Marvin Gaye type vibe. Kind of when, you know, they were talking about, you know, music with the meaning, like some what's going on type stuff. Um, I mean, the times have changed, but I still feel like there's a lot of relevant stuff going on that could be written about. And I mean, when I heard that chorus and when I heard, uh, uh, when I heard those chords and stuff like that, I immediately thought of, um, you know, kings and queens and rising up and flying. And, Today's youth, like in the inner city, like you know, Chicago, DC, you know, Philly, um, you know, how a lot of them lose that hope that they can do certain things. Um, they kind of, you know, get stuck in the same rut, get stuck in the system. And I mean, immediately I knew I wanted to make a, a motivational song to really talk to that, really talk to them about the fact that they can become more, the fact that they can rise up. It is in them to be a king and a queen. You're gonna be a king, you're gonna change the world And guess you are a queen, ain't nothing stopping you girl You're gonna fly, fly, fly You're gonna fly, fly, fly The way I write is kind of, I mean it's really organic, like I do write with my iPhone a lot. I mean, it used to be the Blackberry, and I write with the iPhone a lot. Um, but that just comes out of convenience because it's what I have at the time. I mean, sometimes, you know, I'll be sitting there with Logic open, like typing directly into my Mac, you know, into Logic or into the notepad that's in the Mac. Um, but a lot of times, depending on the mood, sometimes, like, I just have some music playing in the background, get a pen and paper, and just start writing. Like, it really depends on the song and the vibe that I have at the time. Because sometimes, for some reason, I can never figure out why, sometimes it's not easy for me to type it in the, um, within the iPhone. Sometimes the pen and paper kind of gives you this different organic feel and gets the creative juices flowing differently. So, I mean, it really depends on what I have at the time, but sometimes it can make a difference.